So today we are going to be putting in a roost right here. I cut down this tree here, you know, I cut off the, the br top branches here and we're just going to stick it right in the ground as deep as we can get it. Now we've got really hard soil, so it's kind of tough to get deep, but I started a little hole and then I put a lot of water in it. So it should, here, come here, bud. Why don't you try to see if you can get this up as much as you can. It's tough, a lot of rocks. It doesn't go see? in. Wait. I know. All right, we'll try a different spot. So it's hard to get holes in here. We did it with this one though. This little one here. Um, my whole weight is on here. Okay, let me see what I can do. It's rock hard. Yeah, let's get, let's get all the wood chips out. We've got lots of rocks in our soil. So that's the issue is anytime you start to get down, you hit a rock. So it requires a lot of effort to get any kind of depth. Wetting it kind of helps. It allows those rocks to move a little bit out of the way. Now I don't have a post hole digger, which would probably be best here, but there's a big rock. It's just not gonna move. So, nope, nope, nope. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Watch out. Tons of rocks. Um, mine is sharp. Hey, watch out, sweetheart. Mine is sharp, see? Yep, watch out. It's very sharp, yep. I have my weight on. Yep. There you go, it moved a little. Um, I can't... Just, you got it, bud. You're probably not going to get any out. All right, Abby's getting except some. Except the stuff that is... Well, it's a, it's a smaller shovel, so it, it'll go in between the rocks a little easier, but it also requires a lot more effort. Here, let me hold. Boy, I'm not sure how much more I can get how how much deeper let's see how this goes that might be good enough to hold up Whoa. hold that for a second for my calculations no All right, well, does look like that's staying up. Here, one more dirt. That's a little wobbly, but... Okay, thank you for the dirt, Abby. <laughs> I found it out there. Did you? I found some, I get some dirt out there and get it in here sometimes. I oh. It in here sometimes, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna use a hose and I'm gonna water the ground and I think that'll help compact it and make it a little more stable. All right, so got it watered down. Just gonna step on it to compact it a little more. And there we go. I mean, I think it's pretty stable. It's gonna move a little bit, but that's okay. What do you think, bud? It's dirty. Yeah. It's dirty enough for one. Just one. No, I think they all can fit in there. It'll be fine. If worse comes to worse, we might need to move it back so it's against like one of the poles and maybe zip tie to the pole if, if it seems like it's gonna fall over. But I think it's sturdy enough. It yeah, it's it's pretty sturdy, honey. It will freak the chickens out at first. Well they'll figure it out. They're all curious about it. Of course, they're just eating the bugs on the ground, but at one point they'll get up in there. So I still have yet to see them up in the new roost that I put in. They're in this one all the time. Now, I will say it took them about a week to kind of trust this, and now they're in this all the time. So it might be that it'll just take them a little bit of time to kind of figure this out, that it's a roost, but they're just not interested in it at all. Now, one thing I thought maybe if I could you know, screw in like a bar across here, like maybe a piece of wood across there. It'll give them a step up and then they'd feel more comfortable getting up further because maybe they just don't know if they want to fly that far. They might just want to hop up. So if I could put a couple rows of roosts going up, then maybe they'll, they'll work their way up to the top. 
or it just might be that none, nothing straight across except for this one, but it's kind of blocked by this. So I might need to cut this off and keep all this lower. And this is kind of angled. So it might be that they're a little, a little nervous to sit on that. It's, it's just not gonna hold them straight. There's this one, that one's pretty straight. I think they could sit on that. And that doesn't move too much, so. And it is solid in the ground, guys. I mean, I mean, it wiggles a lot on top, but that's because it's, it's a soft piece of, you know, wood, but it's solid in there, so. But if you guys have any suggestions, maybe I need to replace this piece of wood with something else that's better suited for them. Um, if you guys have ever tried this, let me know. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.